Hello friends, this video on friction part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now, if you compare sliding friction with that of static friction, you will see that sliding friction always is smaller than that of static friction. Now, the question is why? So, by now we all know what is static friction? The force of friction which acts on a body as long as it is not moving. As soon as it starts moving, then sliding friction comes into picture. Now, why is it that static friction is always more than that of sliding friction? So, let us try to understand this. Now, what happens is when an object is at rest, so when your toy car is at rest and you are trying to make it move. So, initially you actually need to give a greater amount of force in order to initiate the movement because right now the, uh, the car is at rest, it is not moving at all. So, if you just give a very small amount of force, you just touch the car and leave. Do you think it will start moving? It will not. You actually need to give some good amount of force to make it move. So to start the movement, it is more difficult. But once you have given that adequate amount of force and it starts moving, to retain its movement is easier because the car is already moving. So even if you just touch it slightly, it will continue to move for some more time. But initiation of the movement is more difficult. Now, why does that happen? That's because when the object is at rest in this case. So initially the object is at rest. And when this object is at rest, the interlocking, so if you look at the contact surfaces, this is the contact surfaces and the interlocking between the surfaces is extremely high because the object is just sitting there. So the surface of the car and the surface of the uh, floor, they are like well interlocked. So when they are well interlocked, so that time the friction is also more. So when the object is at rest, the interlocking is more. And when interlocking is more, then friction is also more. And since the object is at rest, which kind of friction is this? This is nothing but static friction. Right? Now what happens? You give adequate amount of force to overcome static friction and the car starts moving. Now when it is moving, then what is happening actually? So let us have a closer look at what is happening when it is moving. So this is the surface of contact. This is where the car is in contact with the floor. Now as it moves, this is how it happens. So it is actually moving in this direction. Now forget about the rolling part as of now that it, because the wheel is also rolling. So forget about that. Now even when it's moving, the, the, so it's like the wheel is first in contact with this surface, then it is contact with this surface, then it is in contact with this part, this part and so on. So during sliding, the contact points do not get enough time to interlock properly. So proper interlock cannot take place because it is not spending a lot of time at a particular position. It is changing its position because it is moving. So the interlocking is not happening properly. So when it is moving or when it is sliding, in that case, the extent of interlocking is less, not proper interlocking is able to take place. And therefore, in less interlocking would mean less friction. Now when the car is moving, the type of friction that is involved is sliding friction or kinetic friction, which we normally denote as FK. So that is the reason what that, that kinetic friction or sliding friction is always lesser than static friction that is due to insufficient interlocking during movement. Now less interlocking would mean lesser friction. So I hope the concept of friction is clear to you. The concept of interlocking should be clear. If you are clear with that, you will be able to understand what is static friction and what is sliding friction. In fact, now I will also introduce you to rolling friction. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.